His Excellency Gerhard Schroeder, former Chancellor of Germany, Honorable Charles Michel, President of the European Council, Professor Wilgen Koka, today's keynote speaker, Professor Unjung Lee, Director of Free University in Berlin Institute of Korean Studies, moderators, presenters, commentators, and distinguished participants. Uh, on behalf of KDI School of Public Policy and Management, I am deeply honored and pleased uh, to welcome you to this conference, commemorating the 30th anniversary of German reunification and uh, the 70th anniversary of the Korean War. I would like to thank the organizers uh, for putting together uh, this very meaningful program today. I also want to extend my gratitude to Professor Eun Lee and other uh, distinguished speakers here today. Uh, this year has been a roller coaster of unprecedented events instigated by the global pandemic that continues to challenge our lives every day. Uh, but I am grateful that we have the ability and opportunity to still come together uh, to talk about our other pressing factors that affect our global community. Uh, this year marks the 30th anniversary of German unification, the fall of the Berlin Wall 30 years ago was symbolized the end of the Cold War to most people around the world. However, uh, the Cold War did not end 30 years ago and has not ended yet as far as this part of the world is concerned. I do not dare to uncover the deep reasons for this unfortunate state of affairs, but simply note what an extraordinary folly this is. And uh, allow me to take this opportunity today to highlight this fact. Uh, this year, the 70th anniversary of the start of the Korean War uh, is a sad reminder uh, of the unfortunate history we've been going through or here in Korea. Uh, they say Korean War is the forgotten war, perhaps so for people outside the Koreas, but not so for Koreans. Uh, like other Koreans of my generation, I heard and read so much about the tragic stories of the war as I was growing up. Uh, the deep scars of the war that tore apart the fabric of communities across the peninsula still remain, although 70 years have passed since the outbreak of the Korean War. Moreover, technically the war is still not over, uh, even after 70 years. The Korean War was put on hold by the armistice of 1953, and yet there has been no formal end to the war until now. This is not merely a technicality. The military tension and confrontation that flares up between the South and, and the North, uh, uh, even recently, ominous reminders that the war has not ended yet formally. And the war still lives on in the minds of uh, the many people on both sides of the peninsula. Uh, the deep city distrust and even hatred against each other have proven to be difficult challenges for the majority of people who harbor a fervent desire for peaceful coexistence and perhaps an eventual reunification. Uh, since the fall of the Berlin Wall, Korea has looked to Germany for possible solutions to its reunification conundrum or inspiration uh, for a way forward with its northern neighbor. However, experts caution, including uh, Free University Berlin's very own Professor Lee, not to draw too many parallels with Germany, given the distinct differences between the two countries. Nevertheless, uh, Germany's historic reunification serves as a beacon of hope for the Korean people that they too can one day live to see a unified country. Having gone through the Cold War years, uh, Willy Brandt's Ostpolitik, and reunification and integration, Germany has a wealth of experience under its belt that Korea must look to, not necessarily for parallels, but 
for wisdom and inspiration, and perhaps even mediation. Germany is one of the few countries with diplomatic relations with both North and South Korea. As such, I believe it can play useful roles and help the two Koreas to a viable path of reconciliation. And I hope Germany will do more than simply follow the US line on North Korea, to be honest. Uh, the Trump-Kim symmetry has failed spectacularly making any real progress in resolving the nuclear issue, as many seasoned observers suspected it would. But with the incoming Biden administration in the United States, uh, we stand at a turning point in securing peace in the peninsula. I suppose I'm not alone in feeling relieved by the outcome of the U United States uh, presidential election, and hopefully a reversion back to a more conventional U.S. approach to international affairs, including a respect for multilateralism. However, as far as the North Korean issue is concerned, I hope it does not simply revert back to the old failed policies of strategic patience and maximum pressure. Pressurizing North Korea with harsh sanctions has been tried unsuccessfully for a long time, and the sanctions have been getting harsher and harsher with terrible implications for the livelihood of ordinary people of North Korea. Let's apply maximum pressure and patiently wait until North Korea capitulates. This kind of policy has not worked for the last quarter century, ever since the start of the North Korean nuclear crisis. Albert Einstein is widely credited with saying the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. We need to be clear-eyed and creative in devising policies toward North Korea so that we can finally put an official end to the North Korean, uh, to the Korean War and make progress towards reunification. Uh, this is why we are gathered here today as we look to history for our insight and inspiration. So I'm excited to hear from all of you and grateful for your contributions. Uh, before I conclude my remarks, uh, let me take this opportunity to thank Free University Berlin for their exceptional work as uh, one of our key partner institutions in the public diplomacy through education cooperation program. Under the guidance and commitment of Professor Eun Lee, Free University Berlin has strengthened the field of Korean studies by enhancing awareness and understanding of Korea-related issues from both a historic and current affairs perspective. We hope to continue to nurture this partnership and advance the discipline of Korean studies with Free University Berlin. Once again, I wish to extend a heartfelt welcome to all of you and thank you for joining us for this significant, hopefully uh, path-breaking event. Thank you. Thank you.